Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here, hi, hello, subscribe to this channel for more vape videos, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss when I upload a new video. You can find me outside of YouTube, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You might want to follow me over there because that's where I do all of my vape giveaways on my other social medias, because you're not allowed to do vape giveaways technically here on YouTube. I also chat with you guys daily on Twitter, and I like to post on Instagram story all day, every day of like my normal life stuff like whatever I'm doing in the day I love Instagram star I'm addicted to it so follow me over there I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non vape related videos so if you want to see what my other hobbies or personal interests are you can check out that channel and all the links will be below as well as a link to my patreon account which is a vape related patreon with monthly vape rewards such as e-liquid mods kits accessories etc check the description box below for all the important details but let's just just jump right into today's video. I'm looking at a product that came out a very long time ago. I don't even know where you can get it, but you can check directvapor.com because I love directvapor.com. And they have a lot of stuff, but they might not have this. I don't even know if this is still available to get. Like, this is technically like Stone Age vaping. I think I got this. I don't even want to admit when I think I got this. The easy pipe. Or no, the e -Zipe. I thought it was Easy Pipe. The e -Zipe by Fumi Tech, whoever Fumi Tech is. But I just was looking on my shelf of things to review and this looked very interesting. You can see it looks like a lighter. I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna open it up and check it out. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I know there's other versions of like these clickable like lighter looking vapes which are weird to me but also this is kind of cool so here it is I like that <laughs> there's the micro USB charge port you can see this is would be a viewing window for e-liquid but you have to put a cartridge in there is nothing in there right now this is the fire button and the mouthpiece so this is the Fumi Tridge instead of cartridge they tried to make it sound Funny. Underneath that is the micro USB to USB charge cord, the e -Zipe user's manual, and a warranty card. So here is the cartridges. A is 0.5 and B is 0.9. So here are the cartridges. Hopefully they're respectively marked. They are. So we have B and A and the cartridges actually have adjustable airflow on them. Like I said, this thing probably came out years ago, <laughs> but I had, I had, it was just on my shelf. It is 67.5 millimeters tall by 45.6 millimeters this way and 20.6 millimeters this way. These cartridges hold two mils of e-liquid and it has a 1,300 milliamp hour battery in it. And the resistance range that you can have in here is 0.1 ohm to 3 ohms. So I'm going to try the Fumi Tridge B, so cartridge B, and to fill it up you just unscrew the airflow base and you fill it upside down. So I am filling it up today with my Cloud Kiss flavor. This is my flavor, available at bonsaivapor.com. It is a strawberry cake batter flavor and it is available in 100 ml bottles, 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blends, available in 036 and 12 milligrams nicotine. And you can use my coupon code TIA20 for 20% off that flavor at bonsaivapor.com or any other flavor that Bonsai Vapor offers, actually. So we'll just unclick this and we'll unscrew the mouthpiece. It's pretty simple, like, how to use this. We'll slide that, oops, is that upside down? No, okay. Slide that in there and we'll push the cap back on and she's ready to go. I'm gonna let this wick up and while it does, let me tell you a little bit more about it. It does have short sticker protection, low voltage protection. It also has a cutoff timer, so if the fire button's pressed for too long, it will stop vaping. It's interesting because it's like a lighter, so you're gonna wanna hold it like this, right? I feel like this is a weird place to have the fire button, but you click that five times and it turns on five times and it'll turn off. And the light around the fire button also indicates a battery life too. So I guess, how am I gonna vape this? It's kind of weird. You know what, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not too weird, I guess. I guess it's just a little noxious with that. Shh. 
I think people would think you're like sucking on a Zippo. It's very clinky and clicky and just. It's kind of like cool for like a novelty type vape. You know? Still look like a lighter. This is one I wouldn't mind taking on like a camping trip, you know? Because if it got lost or broken or damaged, no problem, no foul. Oh, I just tried to vape it without pushing the fire button. Just kind of awkward placement of the fire button mouthpiece and the lid, the little cap thing, but still. Flavor's coming through okay. I do enjoy the vape I'm getting from it, like the, the amount of cloud, the inhale process. Um, I, I have, I can't stop making this noise. <laughs> I have had my flavor come through way more prominently in other vapes. And I can't really decide how I'd want to hold this. Okay, you can't flick it open like that, but you can flick it open with your thumb. I don't know guys, it's a little weird. And it's old. Anything that's like two months old is considered ancient in the vape world, so this is like stone age. <laughs> but I wanted to do it because it looked cool, and to be honest, I haven't checked my PO box in a very long time, so I don't know, I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Except for a ton of smoke or smock products. I have a ton of those I could look at, but I'm just like so sick of them. They have too many products. Anyways, that's it for the video. Comment down below what you think of this and please try to avoid commenting about how old it is because I know, oh my goodness. And I will see if I can find it available anywhere on the internet. I bet it's super cheap because it's old, so old. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.